Thank you for stopping by, dear friends. If uh, you are watching this video, it means you might have a P0115 engine code, which means uh, engine coolant temperature sensor circuit malfunctioning problem. Most likely that uh, faulty sensor or wiring down to the sensor. And this uh, tutorial will cover that uh, testing procedures for the two wires uh, sensors. One wire is a ECU signal wire, another ECU uh, ground wire. This is most popular design. For example, some sensors with the three wires will cover in different video, and this Volkswagen has that type of sensors. All right, now we're going to the tests, and first test what will be it's a engine coolant temperature sensor ground test. Second one, engine coolant temperature open reference voltage test. Next one is ECT sensor signal test. And uh, fourth test, engine control temperature sensors resistance test. And at the end, we'll do continuity test. Right? Let's do it together and uh, I hope you will like it and learn something. All right? We're performing the test on the Volvo and uh, if as you can see most of the temperature sensors are located closer to the thermostat housing and it uh, depends from the make and model they can be put in different places on the engine just check the repair manual or just look online okay Okay, first of all, is a visual inspection. We're looking for a broken wire, loose connections. Um, and our first test and uh, sensor ground test. We set our multimeter to volts and connected one uh, lead to the positive battery terminal. By using the paper clip, we need to penetrate inside the connector. Where is the ECM ground wire? Now we're going to turn our key to the on position, not starting the vehicle, and we should see the battery voltage over here. Okay, our vehicle turn on, and we should see the battery voltage. Here we go, there's our battery voltage. Second one, engine coolant temperature open reference voltage test. We need to disconnect our coolant temperature sensor connector. Ignition is on and now we should read 5 volts reference voltage. Let's see. Here you go, we have 5 volts. That is the open reference voltage test. Now time for test number 3, sensor signal like also a performance test. I won't recommend you to do this test because it's high risk to short two wires and then you might fry your uh, engine control modules or cost so many electrical issues after the all. But what it does, you put one paper clip into the connector on a ECM ground wire, another one on the side of the ECM signal wire. Start your vehicle and uh, read the voltage. That will show you that when coolant temperature will go up, voltage will go down. But that's okay, you don't need to do it because you might risk it damaging your electrical components on your car. Okay. Okay, time for the resistance test. And this cup is boiled hot water. This one's filled with a cold one. And let's put our sensor into the hot water. And now our reading is, too, is dropping down, which it should. Temperature is going up, resistance is going down. Now we're in, we started with uh, 2.4 kilo ohms. Now we're going to 
600 ohms see it's dropping 500 20 it's picking a reading because it's hot it's working depends on the vehicle and model the resistance specs can be different but it will be between 500 ohms up to 10 kilo ohms but you see that trend it's still going down 466 ohms let's place the sensor into the cold water and now we see that re re resistance is going up 1.2 kilo ohms 1.3 1.5 that's how it's working, how you can see the magic of this sensor. Mm -hmm. Let's put it back into the hot. Last uh, one more time, as you say. Yeah, see, it's we did it. We did it together and learn, help each other. Yeah, if you have any suggestions or thoughts, just share them in the comments below. <laughs> Yeah, it's going down 630 ohms. Let's okay. Now is the time for last test continuity test. That's simple, it's not necessary to do, but then we can say we did it complete test. <laughs> okay, let's do that. All right, and last uh, test number five is continuity test, it's the uh, easiest test. And all right. With one lead, we need to touch the ECM ground wire. And with another lead, we're touching the vehicle ground. As you can hear that sound, that electricity can flow. We have a, if you have a good ground. This is a continuity test. Five tests you need to know how to do it. Then you can say, I tested my sensor. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, just check your uh, vehicle wiring diagram for uh, engine coolant temperature sensor. But the principle will be the same. One wire is uh, ECM control wire, signal wire, another one ECM ground wire. And as you know, electricity flow flows from positive all the way and come back to negative. And how everything's working. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm saying bye you again. All right. Have a great time.